What's up, guys? Okay, today I have a very interesting guest on the podcast. Luke Benza, who is a close friend of mine for close to two decades, has had an extremely interesting and exciting life. He was born in Gabon and dreaming of Kung Fu, he came to China in 1983 at the tender age of 13 to chase his dreams. His journey led him to the Shaolin Temple, to the Beijing Sport University, where he spent more than a decade training and eventually graduated with a master's degree in Wushu, and into the field of films, where he has worked alongside the great Jackie Chan, amongst others. Throughout his life, he has been actively promoting Chinese martial arts in his home country of Gabon, where he founded the Gabon Wushu Association, as well as in the African continent and within the international organization governing the sport as a member of its traditional committee. He is a cultural ambassador between China and Africa, too. And here he is, the great Luke Benza. Welcome, Brother Luke. Uh, thank you so much uh, to invited me in here, and we're going to have a topic talking uh, about what's going on in Wushu. And about you, actually. Uh, yeah. More important is about you, because your life story <laughs> is very yeah. interesting, and yeah. I think for a lot of people, especially yeah. for African people, y yeah. it's yeah. something that is uh, like a... Like a journey to the west, but is journey to the east <laughs> so, for yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I came in China in 1984. Mm. Uh, I was found on the uh, Bruce Lee movies, Jackie Chan movies when I was in my country, it's Gabon. I'm from Gabon. Uh, Living, uh, I was born in Kuala Mutu, you know, because Gabon mm -hmm. they have nine provinces. Uh, okay. I was born in Kuala Mutu and moved to Libreville, the capital. Okay. And then uh, watching a lot of uh, at that time during the 70s, 80, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, uh, Bruce Lee movies, uh, Jackie Chan movies. Was Bruce Lee before? Uh? Yeah, Bruce Lee, of course, is yeah. the first introduction in the West yeah. for Chinese martial yeah, arts, and it's uh, interesting because Bruce Lee in China. Yeah wasn't so well known as he was well known in the west yes because of yeah. the disconnection between hong, hong kong, kong yeah. and china the west we knew yes. about bruce lee and yeah. he was a big hit yes. but he became a bigger hit in china yeah. after because after. he was a, a big star in the in, west yes this is it but yeah 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 it's very interesting uh, you know we start to know the male in china when uh jet lee made his movie you know mm -hmm. the shaolin temple 1980 yeah 1980 so the artist people say hey ah how what's going on they have another china was this is <laughs> right yeah but this is the movie that made the big hit in it's, china yes is, is shaolin temple it's shaolin temple but yeah. you know what's interesting because even when i was a young young man in south africa mm. if you talk about kung fu movies and kung fu stars they didn't know early they didn't know Jet Li. they yeah. didn't know shaolin yes. temple they only yes. know bruce lee bruce lee yes and in yeah. china mm. the revival of the interest when mm. wushu re and all of that is coming yeah. Yeah. is after the Shaolin Temple movie, not because of Bruce Lee. They didn't really have Bruce Lee here. No, so. no, we didn't have Bruce Lee at that time. Bruce Lee, uh, I mean, in the, in, in the world, it was the, the, the superstar, the big star. It's yeah. why from Bruce Lee, people st uh, were starting to learn karate at the time, judo, yes, like taekwondo, me. Yeah, me either, you know. Yeah. So uh, it's from there because of Bruce Lee. Yeah. And then when Bruce Lee uh, 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 passed away and we saw a lot of differences, a lot of different Bruce Bruce Le, Bruce Lai, anyway, yeah. and then suddenly Jackie Chan came out. Yeah, so yeah. with a different style. So he pushed a lot of people at the time to uh, to know what is Wushu, what is Kung Fu, what, yes. what, what's going on, what, what, you know. Well, actually, Wushu, they don't know. In the no, West, they don't know. They don't it's know. always yeah. just called Kung Fu. They always called Kung Fu. Yeah. But, but when you were young in, in Gabon yeah. and you were watching these movies, mm. you started to do martial arts in Gabon, some other karate or something like yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. You only had karate. There was no Kung Fu? Was there it was no, It was no Kung Fu at that time. They only, we, at that time, it just uh, karate, judo, and taekwondo. Like, like most Western uh, places. Yeah, like most Western places. And what did you Mostly start? Mostly, I start for, I start to learn uh, judo. The 
first. It was, Same yeah. with me. <laughs> I started learning judo. Yeah. And I moved from judo, I moved to karate. Mm-hmm. And from karate, I moved to taekwondo. Okay. And then we saw that ah, maybe something is missing because what we learn, in, it was different on what we watch on movie. Of know? course. So I decided to ask my parents, you know, if I can come in China to learn martial arts. You know? And how old were you? I was uh, like, uh, when I asked my parents, I was 11 years old. And then I moved my country to Gabon, uh, to my move from Gabon to China. I was 13 years old. So your parents, when you were 13, yes. they said, okay, this doesn't sound like a crazy idea. It was crazy. I will send you to China, uh, no, you 13 year old young boy. Uh, uh, it was crazy. It what was did your crazy. mom say? Did your mom, was your mom thinking you are crazy? Uh, yeah, 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 she said, I'm crazy. Something is wrong with my mind. It's better to stay here because before, before Bruce Lee, we was watching, uh, we called tra- Chinese traditional Kung Fu movies. Yes, the Shaw Brothers movies. Uh, Shaw Brothers, yeah. It's the people was flying yes, around, yes. flying, uh, yeah. So, and my mom was saying, what we see in China at the time, that people was flying around, around, say, and they don't see anything clear in there. What we saw is the village. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's the village. And then she say, you know, uh, uh, I I can't let you go in there because there is village <laughs> and uh, people flying everywhere in the head. So <laughs> she, she, she took it like real. This is the yeah, real situation yeah, in yeah, China. Yeah, it's like real, yeah. yeah. And then good things is I made a, a Chinese friend mm. who was the, uh, the Chinese interpreter for the uh, Chinese medical, because Gabon in China, we have... Uh, uh, agreement. So okay. every two years, uh, we have the uh, Chinese uh, medical group who yes. come who come to to you know to my country to stay two years. Actually, I you know this is yeah. one of the things that a lot of people don't know that yeah. they had these groups yeah. of doctors that yes. used to go to many countries yes. in Africa yes. from China yes. and stay there. Yeah. And and actually, if I remember, the treatment was free. Yes, free. I mean, this is a big humanitarian, yes, uh, yes, really yes. a very, very special thing yeah. that China did to help people. And yeah, really, yeah. you know, people don't know this. They don't know this. You yeah. know, you know, my, my master was in Cameroon, you know, mm. that, oh. for, for two years, oh. long time ago. Yeah. And oh. when he was in Cameroon, he got uh, malaria. Yeah, yeah. Just, and yeah, um, and he went to the Chinese medical team, the yeah. medical, the same that you were talking mm-hmm, about. Mm-hmm. And they, they treated him, they, yeah. they helped him. But yeah. A lot of people don't know that this was actually some agreement between the government. And, yeah, and, and yeah. yeah. So, so carry on. I yeah, interrupted yeah, you. you. No, it's okay. Uh, uh, this uh, the, uh, the, the 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 medical uh, group. They have uh, each country they go. They have an interpreter. Mm-hmm. So the interpreter it was Mr. Wang who speak very well French, mm-hmm. and uh, I've met him. But before I met him, I, I, I was afraid because you know. When we uh, uh, we live in uh, in Africa, we almost think that all the Chinese they know kung fu, so yes. we <laughs> so we are kind of afraid of them <laughs> to talk with them and if to touch, I mean, if to approach them, you know. Yeah. So uh, one day he was doing kind of uh, I can say that is Tai Chi Chuan. Well, uh, he was practicing. Tai he chi. was practicing, yeah, Tai Chi, and then I uh, was afraid. And uh, every morning, six o'clock. I was, you know, you know, uh, uh, in one place we can he can't see me, and then suddenly he knows I was there. And then uh-huh. he calling me, and then I run away one time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the third time, and uh, we've met, and then he called me, and then I went to talk to him. I was really, really afraid, really afraid. He said, "Yeah, don't be afraid. You know, uh, I saw you. You came us." All the time, you look at me and you run away. Okay. You watch me training. You watch me training. You know, and then we be, we become friends. Mm. So from there, I learned some Chinese basic Chinese uh, 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 like language. Oh wow! Basic, you know, and then I stopped to go to school. <laughs> wow! Every morning, every afternoon, I was with Mr. Wang, and then he took me to the hospital. I was staying in Chinese community in my country. Yeah. And then suddenly my parents say, ah, you know, my, my uh, uh, school score was really bad, you know, mm-hmm. at that time. But only story geographic, the story and, uh, you know. History. Uh, history. History and geography. Geography was the best. Okay. But mathematics and other things was really bad. You have no bad. interest. Yeah, no interest. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. And then, you know, since I was still watching movies uh, 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 in my countries, and then I asked him one day to go and talk to my parents, if it's possible, you know, to, to talk to my parents. And uh, then, then they can let me go to, to China, you know. <laughs> to, to study. Yeah, did to study, did yeah. you learn any Tai Chi or anything with him? Uh, no, just a little bit. Just but little. mostly it was the Chinese language. But I think that's a big important step. Yeah, especially yeah. if you want to go to China. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. It was yeah. The, the, the mostly was the Chinese language was teaching me some basic Chinese mm -hmm. language. And then I went to see my parents, talk to them. And then... Uh, my mom, of course, was not happy, and my father talked to him, and then he say, "Ah, you know, it's better, you know, to let me, you know, to go to in follow China your dream, to, to follow my dream." Yes, mm -hmm. you know, in Africa we have um, a system that um, uh, who 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 get involved in political stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and the kids they have to follow up, mm -hmm. so it's kind of. Uh, I broke the law of my family, I can say that. <laughs> because you didn't follow what your father yes, and your family yes, was... My family, what yeah, was yeah, your yeah, father yeah. and your family doing? Uh, they was in charge, but they, they are political. You know, political, stuff. so political. they were they yeah, were involved yeah, yeah, in government yeah. yes. things. Even if when I came in China later, I didn't know I have an uncle in here. The brother of my mom, he was the first consular in the embassy in Gabon in here. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. So <laughs> but your mom surely knew. I mean, yeah. She didn't. She didn't say you want to go to China. Okay, you contact my brother. No, no, because I was young. Yeah, there was, I was young. So for her, it's really impossible. Like she cannot imagine me to have such ideas. You know, to go to and... come in China. I say when I came here, my uncle helped me a lot. Uh, I went to Shaolin Temple, and then. Uh, so when you first for... came, how old were you? 13 age old. 13. Yeah. And you came directly to Beijing? Yeah, directly to Beijing. Wow. And from directly to Beijing, first of all, I asked my home call. Then I came out the airport. I was looking, you know, in the hair. And then my uncle asked me, what are you looking for? I said, well, 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 I'm looking for the people. The people is flying. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is that people? <laughs> <laughs> you were looking up in the sky yeah, and waiting sky, to see who's flying. flying. <laughs> what did your uncle say? He said, you, you crazy. He's no, he's no people flying in here. In here. It, it's impossible. I said, no, don't lie to me. <laughs> Try. I must see these people. I, I want to see the people flying the hair. In this the is air. what I saw in the movies. Yeah. He said, yeah, but my nephew, you know what? It's a movie. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. Oh, said, yeah. Don't try to lie on me. Find. <laughs> Find the one who's flying. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, I'm sure your uncle phoned your mom immediately. Your son is completely crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but actually he did. He mm -hmm. did. He brought me. Uh, he took me. We went to Beijing Films Studio at that time. Ah, with the wires. Yeah, with the okay. wires. Uh, he yes. said, "You're gonna see what's going on in here. This is how they fly." Oh. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was uh, when I saw the truth. Of course, I was a little sad. Of course. Know? And then he said, "Don't, uh, don't be sad." Um, go to Shaolin Temple, and uh, you know it was closed at that time. Yeah, China was just open to the world at that time. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And he wrote to the uh, he wrote the letter to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in, Be in 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 Beijing, and then Beijing, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs wrote the letter to the uh, Henan uh, government uh, uh, to the Henan government. Henan government. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They say okay. Uh, uh, this guy me uh, is gonna come to Shaolin Temple and blah 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 blah, and then I went there. Mm -hmm. So I didn't stay a long time. I didn't stay a long time in Shaolin Temple. It was maybe between six months and one year. Where were you of, in the in, temple? In the temple. In the, in the temple. In the temple. So not in one of the schools, the Wushu, no, 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 no school, not Xue school. No, because it's high. It was the high letters. Right. High recommendation from the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Beijing. Right. You know, and then they send the letter to the uh, the Hena in the government. So. The recommendation was to send me inside of okay. the, the temple. So they tried the best they can. And because of the language, yeah. I couldn't speak Chinese. Yeah. Because of the language, after I think one year and I left Shaolin Temple and then I went to Beijing uh, Language University. What was your time like in the temple? What did you do every day? Nothing, just, you know, praying, 
and uh, doing basic movements. Okay. And like, you know, the same things like you saw the movie, Shaolin Temple. You saw the movie? Yeah. The people working uh, 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 very early in the morning. They have to go to do, do different exercises. Yeah. You know, in Mabu, you know, punch. The okay. same thing. Very things, simple things. Very simple things. No, nothing at all. And you were so. also learning Buddhism then. Yes. Yes, so you were chanting, yeah. but you didn't understand what. what yeah, were... what's going on? Yeah, because in the morning, you know, when they let, they, they 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 go to the temple, they have I don't know how do you call these things. Yeah, yeah I know they, the, they wooden, the wooden the wooden boom, drummer. Boom, boom, that yeah, you yeah, boom, yeah, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So they say, I you know, the language I can't speak Chinese. No language, so I just follow what they do. You know, yeah, I'm just following. So that's the dope. The food was not good at the time. We have big bread, Mantel. hot water, and vegetables. That the only things we're going to eat. We and have to and eat. you're not a vegetarian. Yeah, I'm not a vegetarian, but, you know... Uh, in the temple. In the temple, but at that time, not now. Now we can, you know... <laughs> now it's, now it's can, easier, now it's, it's more easier, convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at the time, it was only two big bread, they called manto at the yeah. time, and hot water and vegetables. That things you can eat there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I left there. I came to Beijing uh, Language University. Mm -hmm. I studied one year there. And I went to Beijing Sport University. There I stayed more than uh, 15 years there in so, Beijing Sport University. Wow. Yeah. So you yeah. were already in the Beijing Sports University. Probably you were 15, something like that? Yes, yes. But not in, when you go to the university first, you, you have to... To prepare to do your uh, uh, the bachelor and master degree, right. but before that you have to go to the special classes okay. on martial arts class on ushu classes, and inside to to get you prepare for the bachelor. Right. You know, so there that class I stay one one and a half year in that the preparing class. And in the preparing class is only ushu or language also? Uh, no language because when I left uh, uh, Beijing uh, Language University. Uh, most of the class who was there, the preparing class, is only foreigner who was uh, studying there. Mm -hmm. Not to make sure, not not many. Uh, we always like five from different country. Okay. Yeah. And after the the, the 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 preparing class, then we move to the bachelor. Mm -hmm. So then we go to the classes with Chinese. Everything they do, you have to do. You able to do. The training, language, you know, all the classes you do, you have to do. And how was your language level by that time? Uh, it was not good, but uh, because it was the environment was good, because, you know, uh, uh, learning with the Chinese uh, helped me a lot to improve, you know, my, 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 my skill, language and, and everything. Mm -hmm. And then you have to learn, you know, Chinese acupuncture, biology, everything, everything. Yeah, yeah. The, the things they learn, you have to do the, the, the same thing. And uh, beside the class, I met the teacher uh, called Lim Bo Yuan. He's the one who, uh, who, who I can say, who uh, impressed me a lot and who teach me a lot. In he, the, he's uh, a teacher in the university? He was in the university, but such a special techniques uh, uh, because China was closed at that time it was yeah. not open to the world you know yeah. uh, and to learn with such a teacher it was uh, quite difficult what's his background uh, okay uh, he was uh, teaching in Landro Sports University so he's from Shibei he's from Shibai. northwest yeah China. northwest China and he wrote a lot of uh, books about the Wushu story Wushu story and uh, he uh is uh, also a good, uh, we can say, a master, because he learned from uh, Ma Xianda, uh, Ma Fengtu also. Ma Fengtu. So I was yeah, going to yeah. say, if he's in Shibe, he must yeah, have some connection knows, to the yeah, Ma family. Yeah, yeah. So uh, then uh, he moved to uh, Beijing Sport University. He was teaching Ushu story only. History only. History. That's only. it. On that, that's it. And oh. one day I saw him practice some different style. You know, on was, his own? He was on doing... On his own. On his own, yeah. And then I was impressed. I said, ah, maybe, yeah, um, uh, why, uh, you know, how can he be so special, you know? Mm -hmm. And then I tried to uh, approach to him and uh, it was difficult for me to, for him to teach me at that time because, you know, like, you know, in Wushu is not like you pay a lot of money and, you know, you want to learn or everything what you want to learn. It's impossible. Not you know, possible. Yeah, not possible. So, um, uh, he gave me some kind of test, like, you know, uh, 
he give you like an appointment you came he don't come but actually he's there he's watching you what you do your i mean your your reaction your reaction yes yeah so he's after uh one year after one year he accept me uh, as a student but not like student like son and father no yeah yeah <laughs> like teaser yeah teaser yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. a disciple yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, know, we didn't when he accepted me. I was very happy, but we didn't start to practice at that time. So he's telling me this, the uh, uh, the relation between the student and 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 and, and teacher and the things about the society and education and everything. How to humble? How to be? You know, how to act? Act to act in what you need to do yes, as a student. Yes. It's not just studying. There's a relationship. Yes. 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 Yeah, and from then uh, he, he, he tried to teach me step by step, step by step. Yeah, this is uh, this is it. And uh, one day he, he said that uh, you know uh, we as foreigner we cannot be better than Chinese. It's impossible because it's from this is them culture. Mm -hmm. They learn from you know young age, six age old, from four age old, five age old. Yeah, you know, yeah. but if you learn things which is special and they don't know and they never see, then you can improve your skill and to these things you're practicing is going to be special for you. Yeah. You know, this is that the direction he, he, uh, he pushed, he pushed it me. So he pushed yeah. you to have an understanding that your yeah. goal is not to try to be better than anybody else, yes, yes, but to yes. take what you learn and yeah. make something special, special for yourself yes, yes, in your life. In your life. Yes, yes. In my life. Yeah, and that is, is what it. Wushu and Kung Fu is. If this is it. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, from there, uh, I I'm very really grateful for uh, uh, to him, and I do uh, some couple of competitions. Mm -hmm. uh, what did I, he teach you? Okay, he teach me first of all how to be a human being first. But well, that's the first job of a shirfu. Yes. Okay. And uh, how to handle with any kind of uh, different situations. Okay. If you have problem and how to handle with, mm -hmm. and how to act with uh, friends, you know, mm -hmm. and how. You know, is your friend, but how to uh, manage the relationship between okay. you and the society, between you, the nature, between you and you know, a different aspect than you face on the and uh, on, on on the life, mm -hmm. you know. And martial arts come later. Yeah, yeah. So from martial arts, I learn things uh, like big brat sword and the small stick and uh, okay. yeah, such. Was it any specific style that he was teaching you? Um, I can say the specific style he teach me. I don't know how to say that in English. Is pigua Pigua is just yeah, pigua. Pigua, yeah, pigua. pigua. I mean, people who listen to yeah, this generally understand, but pigua. pigua. Yeah, pigua. It was uh, the, the 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 different pigua style. That's the. the so he taught you the me. big broadsword. You are talking about miao dao. Yeah, I'm talking about miao dao. So he he teach me miao dao and. Uh, the, the theory about Miao Dao and, and, bian, bian and Gan. Bian Gan as so well. So the short, yeah. the short, the short uh, stick, stick yeah. and the Miao Dao, Miao which Dao. is actually what they yes. consider the yeah. uh, the descendant the, the, of the, the Japanese yeah. long this sword. Yeah, yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, and you learned the Pigua hand forms too. Yes, the hand form too. Uh, yeah, yes. And um, uh, I uh, during my. Uh, after my bachelor, I do the master degree, and during my master degree, I travel a lot around China to see the uh, the differences, the different style on how is what's going on, you know, the different traction, places. different places, yeah. And it, for me, for me, um, the place which in, uh, uh, who uh, impressed me a lot is Sibei, is the northwest, uh, northwest China. For me, I mean, for me, they still keep the. You know, uh, this is only my personal opinion. No, no, can but, find, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they still keep the traditional, you know, uh, uh, more deep, more deep. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, they have other the place like Shandong, uh, Tianjin. They still keep, but for me, uh, what I saw during my research, uh, they still keep the, the, the you know, the, 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 the mm -hmm. traditional, uh, the traditional martial arts. I think this is my opinion. No, of course, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. and you've seen it, so this is yeah, your, yeah. your idea. Yes. And uh, since then, uh, yeah, still practicing sometimes, and I still, you know, uh, try to um, uh, let my country, you know, to get involved in wushu because wushu they have differences. Um, uh, we can say uh, we call gunang, 
Yeah. Abilities. Abilities. So you can push country to countries in diplomatic way. You can different you know, functions. Different right. functions. Yeah, yeah, different yeah. functions. Right. So uh, my main things right now is to, you know, to uh, uh, let Gabonese people and African people to know more deep what's going on in Chinese martial arts. It's not only martial arts, but is uh, because it has different functions. Yeah, so course. you can you can you know each people around the world can find in way his way inside of the of of of, of Ushu, and uh, it's not uh, you know like we see usually in here. I mean like we see around the world. You know the arrogancy. Ushu this is not Ushu. This is not you know. Uh, you have to know how to share good things yeah, to yeah, the yeah. other people. You know. Yeah, no. that's true. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit more about your time in the university before mm. we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you were studying with this teacher, mm -hmm. with your with your there, yeah, you yeah. were still attending usual training. In yes, the... still att attending usual training for of the program of uh, and, the university. And what was the yeah. program like? What did you have to learn? Was there a set oh, curriculum? Yes, they have a set curriculum in Beijing Sport University at that time. So you have to learn uh, philo uh, ph philosophy, philosophy, uh, philosophy. Yeah. And and uh, anatomy and I, I did a lot a lot of you know um, different topic okay yeah and you have to learn also the acupuncture massages right, of massage course. everything who's uh, who have the relation with martial arts with, and with, in with training Russia. what did they teach uh, you or in training we learn uh, different different styles. So they want to give you different a general. Style. A general, yeah. This is this is the good things. It was at that time in Beijing Sports mm -hmm. University. That you you learn the general way of different of different style. Okay. And deep also on the uh, theory, the theory of each one. Uh, and also uh, at that time, uh, uh, can be foreigner and Chinese who graduate from sport university, or mm -hmm. you can take part to any competitions. And if you see uh, the, the uh, uh, athletes, you can do the differences. You can see ah, uh, this athlete is, is this athlete is from Beijing Sport University by his movement using deep, clear, yeah, okay. <laughs> refined, yeah, 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 very refined, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know what's going on now, but yeah. at that time, yeah, it's oh, you know. So you could even just see where where a competitor was it, learning, learning, by, yeah, by, okay. yes, and you can do the differences, of course, with uh, you know, maybe Hubei Sport uh, uh, Institute. And Shanghai uh, Sport uh, University, <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> you huh? can see the differences. Yeah, big, yeah. big differences. Yeah. Well, what would you say the the reason for the differences? Is it just a different standard of teachers, or I think it's different standard of teachers mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the goal of different universities. Okay, you know, Beijing Sport University is the one who represents the old China. You know, the high standard. Okay, so when you graduate from there. Is mean you 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 have uh, 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 a lot of abilities, of course, and to teach to you know to uh, 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 not only to teach but in different in different way as well. Right, it's not mean Shanghai. It's not mean Shanghai uh, doesn't have that or, or, or other universities sport doesn't have that. But it was really I don't know how, but it was really sp special things. But when you graduate from this sport university, you you you. You have something on on, on yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it means something a little bit more than the more other than ones. the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to ask you because this is something that is actually more and more uh, important in mm. today's time. Yeah. About uh, you were studying and learning the general curriculum yeah. of the wushu styles. Wushu, yes. So yeah. you you learned different taolu, yeah, different, different taolu. methods. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's overall, it's overall. general. Yeah, general. Yeah. But you also saw something different with the traditional teacher. This is it. Yeah. yeah. So there is something that is different, but also maybe something that is special. Uh, special, because you know, uh, you uh, you learn in 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 in. A sport university, you are you, you what they teach you they in different, you know, a different style in that, oh, yeah. right? But you as a human being, you have to find your way you on want. which, yeah, on which style who you like or which style you want to be perfect on, right? Which is gonna be for yourself or you're gonna mm -hmm. use, you know. So that I didn't find that in Beijing Sport University, I find that with Mr. Uh, Lim Po Yuan, who was my master. Yes, it was the one who said, Okay, uh, uh, this you can learn, of course, 
yeah, which is inside of the program of sport university. Yeah, mm -hmm. is the curriculum you have to Correct. follow. Correct. You follow. Yeah. So, but beside that, you you, you need to find uh, 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 the things was really special for yourself, mm -hmm. and maybe you can find that in the curriculum inside on on the curriculum. Maybe not. Yeah. So what? For me, I didn't find that in the curriculum. I find that in, in outside of my, my my curriculum, of outside of uh, 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 universities. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So from there, it's it teach me how you know the, the we, we cannot be Chinese, you know, in martial arts, you know. But if you find your way and the way they are not the, this in area. Then you can perfect yourself, you mm -hmm. know, and be maybe much better in this area than them. Yes, I yeah, agree. Yeah. But I think it's the same experience that all of us have. Like me yeah, too, when yeah. I, I was uh, starting with sport wushu, yeah. and you learn yeah. a lot of things. Yes. You know? yeah, yeah. Uh, the physical conditioning, of course, is one side is yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I did nan chuan, I yeah. did chang chuan, yeah. I did some different <laughs> weapon, tao lu, I did ying jiao, yeah, yeah. whatever, eagle, etc. Um but when I met my master for Xing Yi, yeah. then you see, oh, yeah. this is one thing, mm -hmm. but it's so deep. Yeah. And it's so deep yeah. that it's showing me there's so yeah, much special things, things yes. in there that yeah. you, we are missing. Yeah. <laughs> you, because I understand in the university, you don't mm -hmm. have time to go deep into deep, everything. Deep, yeah, yeah, this is true. And yeah. I think this is one thing that is happening in Wushu uh, in, in more and more time. Mm is that people are just looking at the surface and think yeah, it means yeah. everything. Yeah. And, mm. and, and because they're used to just seeing the surface presentation, mm. when, when you see the deep, they can't identify it. Yeah. And this they think it. sometimes, no, it should look like this, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. This, uh, this, what can I say, superficial yeah. performance. Mm. But you can see it when yeah. you actually Actually's go inside. Yes. yes. There is something different. Yes. There is something special. Yes. There is something, something meaningful. Meaning, yes. Yeah, this is true. What you say is true. The, the thing is, we foreigner, we, we like to go faster. Mm. We, we, it's difficult sometimes to understand the culture of uh, the other countries. Mm. So which is sometimes we stop us to go deep. Yeah. You know, because we we want everything to be quicker, faster, quicker, faster, and mm -hmm. then get more. We get more, and but what we learn, uh, and finally, nothing. Nothing. You know, so, uh, if we uh, uh, we we are interested in some in in anyhow to go to uh, in China to learn Wushu martial arts, uh, first of all, you have to know, you have to uh, be objective on what you came to do in here, because you will uh, you will find many 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 things who will attract to you. And we can maybe be, oh, what do you want to learn finally, finally? Yeah. Because <laughs> you don't know. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's too many, many styles, many things, many good things. Right. So you, you have to be objective on, first of all, what you're going to learn. And the very important things is the master. Mm -hmm. Because he's the one who's going to, you know, uh, he's the one who's going to give you such a directions. And you as well as a we as foreigner as well we we, we need to uh, uh uh to to follow up you know uh, 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 in in the place we are right now you know yeah. it's like i know some foreigner you know uh okay they live in europe some in africa or whatever but don't bring your mentality you have in your country in here because <laughs> it won't work <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it will not work, you know. So yeah. you have to follow uh, 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 the law. You have to follow the, the, the try to be uh, deep inside on the culture mm. and try to talk with people. Then be humble yeah. and polite, uh, well educated. At that time, you're going to learn. But at the same time, don't <laughs> you think that if you are not careful here mm. sometimes you will also find the wrong teacher yeah this is it yeah so, this is, is, is uh, uh, vice versa you know? yeah uh, also if you don't have uh, uh, for example someone like you who mm. can uh, guide some some people who came in china to learn martial arts then they can go also in the wrong way you know the, you know they, 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 they can go in the wrong road as well yeah, you know yeah. but uh, we is 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 sometimes is also the problem of themselves in China as well, mm -hmm. and also our problem because we we are very easy to to trust as foreigner uh, on the the things we have 
on the things we saw a lot of Kung Fu movies. Well, that's exactly <laughs> like you. Yes, this you, is, uh, yeah, you yeah. said when you were young, you thought all the Chinese know Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, but that's it. not true. That's not true. So yeah. it's easy if you yeah. think like that to yeah. come here to somebody to mislead you. This is it. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. yeah. So it's more important and uh, uh, to. Uh, 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 to know the objective, what we want to do, what we came in China for. So, as you, for example, you are you're doing a great job on to intend her to let the foreign who came in China to learn martial arts to know the directions, you know, mm. uh, how to you know to direct them in 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 good directions, not like you know to go in you know east, west, northwest, mm. you know, get lost, yeah, get, so lost. Don't get lost, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very uh, 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 important. And also we have uh, um, uh, the Ushu also have his own problem. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it has his own problem. The problem is not uh, uh, because of we foreigner. We foreigner we have also the our own problem. But right. the deep problem, the really deep problem is also the Chinese themselves. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so very true. and uh, it's why we we need to. Uh, to how to do the balance, how to handle with, how to, you know, uh, this is need a uh, 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 still long way to go. But I hope, <laughs> yeah. I do hope a new solution, so we'll find a, 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 a new solution about that. I think that Wushu is at a, a very important, I mean, as a, as a global movement, yeah. I yeah. think Wushu right now is at a very critical point. Yes. And yes. it's very important to pay yeah. attention to what is happening and yeah. to be careful on yes. what we do and yes. how we push yes. it forward. This is it. Yeah. So we don't at the same time lose its important it's core, thing. Yeah. but at the same time we also don't stop its development. Yeah, this is it. You know, uh, uh, is human being the people problem. You know, it's yeah. people problem. So if people change mind and anyhow and people you know, have different mentality and then uh, to push other people who want to do real job on Wushu to promote it and to, to let around the world to know it. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that could be better. But actually, which is um, uh, things we, we, we fight all the time, almost every day, yeah. almost every day. People who doesn't know, they say they know. People who don't know, people who doesn't know, they say they know. And people who know, but they push them away. So, yeah, <laughs> this, yes. is, <laughs> so this, is, this is the, 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 uh, uh, the big uh, uh, problem who need to be resolved. I hope soon which will be resolved because uh, uh, we, we, we are in a critical point at the yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah, very true. <laughs> Your time in the, in the sport university... Uh, which different professors were teaching you at that time? Because it's a different generation yeah, now. Yeah, there yeah. are different professors. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. your time that you were there, it's the Wushu Re, the, the, the time that yeah. Wushu was very, very really popular. popular and, yeah. and, and, yeah. and they did have some connection in that time mm. because it's the first, maybe first one or two generation of yes. teachers. Yes. They're still pulling them out of traditional yeah. backgrounds. They're not, mm. they are not athletes who retired who yeah. now become professors yeah. or... Graduates who became mm. athletes who then retired to mm. become teachers. So, mm. who who were the kind of uh, teachers that okay. were teaching there? Uh, the kind of teacher was teaching there. Uh, that was from different provinces, mm -hmm. and uh, it was really strict, you know, uh, uh, to to uh, to come and teach in Beijing Sport University. The the teacher was chosen mm -hmm. uh, in different uh, provinces. Uh, to come and teach in Beijing Sports University. So at that time, the level was really, really, really high. Yeah. So I have two, teach uh, two teachers, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Van Huafeng, mm -hmm. who was come from Hebei province. Okay. And uh, Miss uh, Li Xiaoping, who was, uh, she came from uh, um, uh, Shanxi province. Okay. Shanxi province. Okay, we know Li Xiaoping, she was the little sister of Yuan Wenqing at that time. Okay, uh, yeah. so she's from the same team with him? No, diff it's the same team but different generation. Different generation. Okay. Yeah, and Wang, uh, the master Wang Hofeng is from uh, uh, Hebei, mm -hmm. so he was the student of Korea Chan. Okay. Uh, of, of Korea Chan. So the level was really deep at that time. Right. And it was chosen by the high. Uh, minister uh, by the high minister, uh, the minister of sport mm -hmm. in Beijing. It was chosen by there, right. and 
they're going to Beijing Sport University at that time to teach. Right. So at that time, uh, in if Chawendo, the movie star, mm -hmm. he was a graduate from there. As oh, well. yes, of yeah, course. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the teacher was chosen by the government to teach there. And soon the policies changed. So uh, there was chosen the best athletes. Okay. Know, the good athletes from different provinces, but the good athletes will have a good result. Then they can qualify to do they a degree. Could, yes, they can qualify to do degree there, and they can represent in anyhow a sport university in different competitions. Okay. And if they have good score and knowledge, because to teach you, you need to have good knowledge as well. Yes. It's not. It's not like you you are you are a, a world champion and you are able to teach. Well, this is what we see now. Look, <laughs> Yuan Wenqing. <laughs> Yuan Wenqing was yeah. one of the greatest competitors of all time. Yeah, Arguably, yeah. even today, his yeah. standard is still some of the best that there is. Athletes, yeah. But, but as a teacher, as a teacher, it's different. It's, it's different. different. It's completely different. Right. Yeah, it's completely different. So. Uh, uh, you have some uh, some athletes. Uh, they 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 doing the curriculum on Beijing Sport University, and then they graduate. If you have good score in competition, and you have good score in knowledge, mm -hmm. and all the uh, you follow up all the good score in what you learn in university, mm -hmm. maybe maybe you can stay in sport university and teach as a okay. teacher. Okay. So if you you are not following the the, the uh, I mean, if you didn't have the score, mm -hmm. the knowledge, or the the the, uh, the the load that required the Beijing Sport University, then you will go back to your, uh, your, your hometown. Your hometown. Your hometown. But it was great at that time because uh, uh, the the sport university, according to the policy at that time, uh, the job was chosen by the government. Okay. Yeah, it was good. Like like okay, you graduate. And you don't need to at that time. You don't need to looking for a job. They have something for they you. They have some, yeah, falling, yeah. yeah. So you graduate, and maybe they can, you know, send you to other provinces to to teach there and to work there. You know, it was a special program for that. But now it's different. Now it's you graduate, but you have to, you know, looking for a job. Yeah. You have to. <laughs> so that's why a lot of people don't see any reason to yeah. to do this degree. Yes. Because what's the use? Yes. You know? Yes. And even as a coach of a province, you don't really get a high salary. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a province, it's not high. Yeah, this is it. It's no high salary because, you know, we have to be... Uh, 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 wushu really we is not high salary. Yeah. It's, first of all, you have to like it deep. You, you have, have to love, to love it. it. Yeah. yeah, you have to love it. You know, and you have to face on all the challenges every day. Yeah, you know, and there's many challenges. There's many challenges. Yeah, yeah. you have to face on. And finally, uh, you will see that oh, if it don't follow the the how to say the 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 the, the, the things you've you've giving because you love that much. You love Osho and it's not combined on with the finance you know that is <laughs> right this, but i mean this. i think like you even yeah. like me because i i moved in when i was a teenager yeah, i moved yeah. into a warehouse yes into them in the middle of nowhere yeah. in a dangerous area yeah. because that is where the school was yeah. and i was sleeping in the storeroom yeah, it wasn't any place for human there yeah. was no hot water yeah. but is the sacrifice yeah, yeah. Is not because I want to make money. Yeah, this is it's it. because I love this uh, thing, yes. and I know yeah. this is what I want yeah. to do. So, yeah. you know, this is this is the difficulty yeah. that if you think I'm going to do, even you know, it doesn't matter if you want to do competitive wushu, yeah. whatever, whatever, yeah. uh, traditional wushu. I mean, mm. when I was doing it, was because I wanted to do traditional, yeah. the full thing. I yeah. just started to do sport because yeah. that's where it led. Yeah. But. If you want to do this, it's because you love it. Yes. There's, there's no other Absolutely. reason. Yes. You will study history, yeah, culture, study. Yeah. language, yeah. move to another country, mm. eat bread with yeah, vegetables yeah, 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 for yeah, a yeah. year and <laughs> live in the temple. Duck, duck, yeah, duck, yeah, duck, yeah. Duck, and you don't know what's going on yeah, every day. Yeah, you yeah. don't, But you know no, yeah. from young when yeah. you saw this, this wushu, uh, that's my future. Yeah, this is it. That's my future. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. But in, in your time in the sport university, were there other foreigners there? Yes, five. Okay. Five only. Okay. Uh, me from Africa, uh, Gabon, one from Japan, uh, one from Brazil, Aust no, two uh, for Brazil and Mexico. Okay. And where Five. are they? Where are they now? Now I just keep in touch with uh, one coach. 
is live in Brazil. Uh-huh. Now the only this is the only only I can say uh, friends I keep in touch with. The others, no news. I don't know what they're doing. You know, uh, Mexico. They, uh, Mexico is still in living here. He's still here, right? He's still in here. He's teaching in a uh, American school. Okay. Yeah, he's still in here, but I didn't see him for more than twenty-five years, more than twenty years. Right. Since he graduate, you know, and uh, the the uh, the one from Brazil is teaching. Is teaching in uh, Sao Paulo, and uh, uh, yeah, the others no news. No wow. news. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's quite long. Huh? It's a long time. It's a long time. Sure. And the the second student when they came, uh, also one Brazil, um, uh, Oliver Aperti, which is now was doing Tai Chi, mm-hmm. and now he, he he went for politics. Mm-hmm. He was he went for politics. He went for the uh, uh, I do heard he he run for politics now, and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yes, only him. I have some news. The wow. others, yeah. When you when you were in the sports university yeah. in that time, there was no international wushu movement. There was no international no, no wushu international federation movement. yet. No, not yet. No. It started in 1990 officially. Yes. yes. And of yes. course, you must have heard this is yes. happening. Yes. I'm sure you yeah. were very happy. Yes. To see, okay, finally yeah. something yeah. is happening for international. Yes. Yeah. Were you involved at all in yes. the early you early, early uh, time? Uh, yeah. Um, the we can say the the preliminary of the uh, creation of international Wish federation it was on 1984 or between 1984 and if my 1984 and 1985 between mm. in Xi'an. okay and that was on the during the international tournament happened okay. in Xi'an. yes and uh, when uh, the international Wish federation tried to create it was uh, the before Many uh, things happen. It's like mm. the, the creation, the constitution, the you know, uh, right. uh, many things happen at the time. Mm-hmm. So uh, when we saw the time, it was good and really. Then uh, the uh, they organized the the first World Wish Championships in 1991. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the huge impact to see those countries to came in there, and then as that time, uh, everything was great. Uh, the uh, the uh, it was not a lot of people at that time. Eh? For of the, course, the there was executive wasn't a lot committee, of, yeah. uh, technical. It was not a lot of people at that time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nineteen ninety one, not a lot of people. So uh, yeah, things uh, st- we was uh, get supporting by the Chinese Jewish associations, and at that time, and things getting as you know. Uh, uh, Getting you know uh, 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 with the help of the Chinese associations uh, uh, um, developed and developed pushed. and pushing around the world uh, to send some teachers in different yeah. countries mm-hmm. yeah to let the international federation knows and uh, you know uh, I mean both international federation and Chinese association done a lot of work on on yeah, on course. the promotions of, uh, of Ushu around the world yeah yeah but now we're still on the uh, a key point on the way on where to go now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And how to go, yeah. Because we yeah, were so yeah. focused on the Olympics for so long that yeah, uh, we yeah, thought yeah, this yeah. was doing yes. everything for the Olympics, uh, yeah. but we're not in. Yeah. So that's the one thing. And the yes. other thing is the direction the sport went, yeah. you know, in yeah. in the new Nandu system, which yeah, has yeah. also changed a lot yeah. of a lot yes. of direction and yes. even changed the support yes. from a lot of... Uh, yeah, this is uh, it. So it's why uh, um, in, in, in Africa, I think, and I, I do think also in around the world, actually, people move a lot on the traditional because on the mm-hmm. traditional we can find, they can find their own way, you know, they can find... Uh, 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 them directions you know, how to go yeah. so do if is the uh, competitive Ushu of course and we can see recently uh, we have uh, I mean uh, less athletes uh, yeah. doing uh, 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 the Ushu competition now they yeah, less move, and less less and less so they will move on the uh, uh, traditional yes you know. From this your opinion, right. why do you think this is? Why do you think people are are not just so more and more into the the world championship Nandu side? They more focus on the traditional. Uh, f- first of all, we see uh, um, in a in a perspective of some uh, um, 
government aspect in different country. Mm. They don't understand why. This mm. is no, they don't understand why. So uh, and it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Also, it's difficult. And secondly, uh, in a lot of countries, we don't have the equipment. Of you course, know. you need special equipment. carpets. Special, and... special carpet, special this, and all this is uh, need money. But the most important things is the difficulties. And we we know as a foreigner who live in foreign country uh, is hobby. We yeah. do. We we we. I mean. People don't do that as professional, as in China mm -hmm. or in, like in Russia, for example. Eh? Yeah. This is professional. But in in, 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 in other countries, I can see in Africa, in other different other other countries, it's quite difficult, you know, yeah. for them to practice every day. They they have their own charge. They have to go to school. Some of some some of them they are married, yeah. you know, they have to take care of the family or whatever. So this is most of the. Uh, the, the the difficulties and secondly is also uh, in inside of the uh, Chinese Association International Wushu Federation to change because we are on you know on 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 the key points on where to go yeah you know so for the uh, uh, others for the foreign athletes I mean others people they think that. The way for them is to be in traditional because in traditional they can find their own way there. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we've spoken about this before, but do you think that because this focus of the competitive wushu, which has taken such a, let's be honest, it's taken a blueprint from mm -hmm. artistic uh, gymnastics, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, this method has been somewhat just applied to mm -hmm. Chinese wushu from the difficulty which is one side of it but then the rest of the performance has lost a lot of the original meaning of wushu that people started wushu for in the first place you know the so after some time mm. they think but why am i doing this because for me wushu has this meaning this martial arts is some culture some traditional some application that can be used some deep meaning but this is not now it's going in another direction this yeah. is not important and is so even if, even if even if they have enough time to train the nandu they don't want to mm. did you notice this yes i do know that um, yeah I, I agree on what you say because we 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 too much focus on the uh, olympic aspect you mm -hmm. know and uh, it's why ushu lost is deep meaning on 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 on, uh, on we can say in technical aspect you know yeah. it's why uh, the the athletes they are complaining which I understand and which is it's which is normal mm -hmm. because it's lost because we we want to follow too much on the uh, uh, the way how the uh, Olympic uh, I mean the, the law of the Olympics and yeah. we lost uh, uh, the deep meaning of what we wanted to do I mean the, the, the on, on, on wushu yes. you know the, the, the deep meaning the deep things so they complain which is normal but in any aspect these things has to do with China internal problem as well you know they, yeah. I don't know if they see what's going on that they have to think on okay uh, maybe the direction we've done before is wrong, so we have to sit down and to review what the direction did? and do it again. Uh, yeah, do it. And maybe change something. <laughs> yes, change something. I mean, to change the direction. Yeah, to change the direction, and you have to. But do you think the they will do that? I think. Let's see. Um, uh, I think that we do that. We just have to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be patient, and to see yeah, things will 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 happen. Advice. You know, advice. Uh, the key point is uh, to to follow. Uh, 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 if it's competition, world championship, then we all go to the tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the you know. Uh, this is the. But you know, I, I I mean, I watched some video from the last traditional championships in Ermeshan, and you know, even if this is a a competition that is aimed at people doing traditional styles. Mm. You can still see some people come and do world championship Nandu, yeah. not mm. traditional style, not traditional movement. They take out the Nandu, but they mm. just do everything else like that is not representing that. And they are winning the first place. And this has a big impact on the people that are competing and they are doing really traditional because then they think, 
why do I come here? Yeah, yeah. What? Well, well, yeah, this is true. You know, um, we have two aspects. The aspect is, uh, the first is, uh, you know, you still have some countries who, who is not developed yet. Okay. And they're still doing the old uh, 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 forms uh, for competition, the World Championship, the first, right. the first form, you know. Mm-hmm. And the compulsory the routine. Compulsory routine. Yeah. So you still have a lot, a lot of countries who stealing, uh, who have still that standard, mm-hmm. and who doesn't have the support of them, uh, 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 Olympic Committee or any of them government. Mm-hmm. So for these people, when they find an opportunity, according to then uh, the changement of then government, mm. who has new one has you know new view of uh, mm-hmm. you know of Ushu and who need to change a little bit and when he change he, he has new position in the government he change you see that and these athletes uh, they doesn't have any you know uh, new how to say how to say that um new recycle mm-hmm. you know so the only one techniques they have is that and yeah. the 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 uh, and then when what's happened, then they, they came and compete in that. But in anyhow also, we have a, 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 other, other, other two things is uh, they have the rules that mm. is traditional competitions and they have the, the, the regularization of the traditional competitions. Yeah, uh, that's it. The judging have, methods, the rules, yes, all of they these have things. That. And in other aspect as well, the provinces. The province that they go to compete in that place also they have uh, a different different view what say okay uh, uh, our provinces never organized such a huge uh, you know, competition and it's also uh, a promotions on on uh, for them uh, or for, for for the city for the provinces for the for province in getting tourists yes and, uh, yes Financial, yes. financial investment uh, and yes. this boost is it. the economy. This is it. This is it. Like was like uh, like many many years ago, I take part to the uh, to the uh, 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 the Shaolin Temple. What what is Shaolin Wushu Jie? Okay, say so, oh okay. Because, the Shaolin Wushu Festival. Uh, festival, yeah. yeah. What what really happened? What, what? and at that time uh, the government was a, a friend of mine and they asked me. A, a question say okay this this is it we, this is our city and uh, many things is missing what is the things who can you know intentar the people to know here mm. and to come here and to come here yeah, yeah. so uh, it's Shaolin Wushu festival yeah it's the festival yeah you see it's the same things that we do in uh, actually right now in May uh, and uh, uh, Wudang Wudang and the yes. first two were in Shaolin too this is it you yeah. see so it's three kind of aspect that we, which is maybe I hope is going to be changed. I mean, uh, not not change like you know, uh, 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 still a lot of work to to, to do. Yeah. Uh, like uh, like like okay, like uh, countries who who still doing the, the the first forms and how to promote, how to do this. But you know, I think at this point, uh, a lot of the international standard, especially for traditional wushu, is developed quite good. Yes. So yes, yes. those countries with poor development, that's another issue. Yes. But, you know, there's athletes that are coming from countries where the traditional level is strong. Yes. And they are coming and then they will lose to somebody who's not even doing traditional in there. Mm. Because the direction of wushu sport is influencing everything. Even yes. the even the judges who are judging yes. traditional. Yes. So yes. it's like you said, mm. internally they need mm. to sit back and say, okay, maybe the direction we are going, yeah, we need yeah, to change yeah, it change, because yeah, something's yeah, yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah. And this is related to rules and techniques and methods. This and is it. Uh, Direction will Directions, change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 this is you know uh, sometimes in some countries uh, we 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 put on a, on a chief we put and the responsibility to, to the people doesn't know. They don't know. Yes, they're not uh, you qualified. Know, yeah, we're not qualified for. So it's why we face on this kind of situation. You yeah, know. Yeah. So you, you it's like you know. People who who are in 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 such a high high position is people who don't know Ushu. Yeah. So you <laughs> people who know Ushu, you know, is they the, push them out. They push them out, and yeah. and 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 it's not you know, uh, yeah, it's like you disturbing some. I, I have some very very. <laughs> very <laughs> experience with this aspect uh, you know yeah. you know it very much too so 
yeah. yeah so this is uh, uh, the the the, uh, the the things we face on it's quite actually it's quite I hope in the near future but actually it's quite uh, um, difficult you know mm. to mm. Uh, put all the Chinese master first together uh, come together and try to resolve the situation which what's going on in Wushu. Mm -hmm. uh, this is also the internal problem which is quite difficult you know to get all the Chinese master together and work together and work together oh, mommy, this is oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yes and in the aspect the other aspect is uh, uh, the the the, um, uh, the, the the people who are in position is that position who then take uh, the decision who Okay, uh, what, which direction we we take the decision to say? Hey, okay, we uh, organize a huge meeting in mm. for all the Chinese master. We sit down because in Wushu we are in middle point. We in middle nowhere. Where to go now? Right. Sit down and we have to find a solution about yeah, that. So yeah, uh, yeah. this, I hope, in near future will happen. But at moment, but it makes a, it it also makes a difference who's in charge because then they will choose. They are the people who will decide who will be involved in this. Even in the meeting, yeah, they will decide. Yeah. So yes. if, if the people in the top or the people in charge, they don't understand wushu or they have some other agenda or something like this, then everything else underneath is affected. So, yeah, yeah. The, you know, you can see around the world, it depends on some countries, not in general, but in some countries you can see that you know, uh, people who, who are in high positions, is the people don't understand mm -hmm. that uh, the main things on the direction how, how to go wushu how to go sport. Yeah, yeah, you know this is this is the 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 the, the, uh, the big problem we have inside of wushu and uh, the, the key point anyway. You know, you know I, I I use this and I've talked to many people about this uh, many times even when I was teaching judges or when I talk to athletes or whatever and I use this example. Look at what the Karate Federation did. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They didn't go completely crazy into mm. just performance and some spectacular mm. uh, displays, mm. but they are in the Olympics. Mm. And also, when you watch their karate, okay, we talk about kata because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because now this is what we are. This is what we are. We are focusing mm. on. Mm -hmm. When you watch their kata competition, you can see they're doing karate. Yeah. Or they have a you know a list of uh, kata that you oh, are kata, allowed to yeah. perform. Oh, you choose yeah. it. Yeah. The question isn't is he doing karate. Mm. The question in the competition is what is his level. Mm. Okay, this yeah, is. Yeah, a, yeah, 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 but yeah. in wushu now we have some separate. We can sit and say yeah, but this guy is he's doing taiji, oh, but yeah, there's yeah. no taiji here. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. no taiji technique. Yeah. So I look at the karate federation and and I'm very confident. There is a way to do it. Mm. You just need to, like you said, mm. sit down, understand, okay, we need to do something. Yeah. Let's get these people involved that understand mm. and then maybe we can do something. Yeah. Because when I watch karate now, it's very enjoyable to watch. Yeah. Yes. No, of yeah. course, you cannot be perfectly uh, follow just the traditional, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you must find some balance yeah. between the two. Yeah. And, and, and karate did it. You know, and uh, they they are in the Olympics at least just once, but yeah. they are in the Olympics, yes. and uh, yeah. and they yeah. they are big. They yeah. have spectators. They yeah. are connected to the hobby level, to uh, the elite uh, level. It's mm. it's all connected. So, you yeah. know, it's it's a good model to follow. Yeah, it's a good model to follow, as you say. This is true, and uh, it's been you know since you know uh, 60, uh, 60, 70, You know, uh, during karate already, you know. Uh, have a federation, have a federation and uh, perfect organizations and uh, yeah you know so i think is uh, uh, is a model we can we can mm -hmm. we can follow you know but is the most important thing is uh, to find uh, uh, the, 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 the the person who can you know first of all mm -hmm. do a, a general meeting of all the all the masters sit down and say okay uh, uh, to listen what's going on mm -hmm. we which direction we, 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 we are going now. Huh? Yeah. 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 It's, it's too many styles in Wushu. It's too many things in Wushu. So uh, it's quite um, difficult, but I hope one day a solution will be fine. You know? Yeah, I think uh, so too. Yeah. When you finished in the sports university, mm. what did you do right after that? Okay, when I finished in sports university after competitions and I get involved in uh, uh, 
uh, first of all, to promote Ushu uh, mm -hmm. uh, in my country, in Africa, and around the world. And that's how we know each other yes, also. Yes, Because we're we both in Af yes. from Africa. Yes. And I met you, I think it's yeah. now oh, more 16, than, 17, yes, 17 yes, years yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yes. So, uh, doing a lot of promotions and uh, uh, that uh, things make me a little bit... Um, uh, uh, we we at that time we face uh, we face on a lot of challenge mm. uh, to promote Ushu, especially in my country in Africa, because yeah. we have uh, uh, the huge promotion of uh, the karate was well sit down there. You know the karate was well sit down there. Taekwondo, Jiro, yeah, they very established, there. very established there. So we uh, uh, Ushu, what is Ushu? Where it came from again? Or is Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan? What's going? Uh, Were they flying? So flying. <laughs> <laughs> so we. Uh, Doing, I've been done a lot of work, a lot of work, uh, you know, uh, conferences in my country, and I try to explain. And after ten years, we sit down well right now. Yes. So, but the thing is, you know, you're doing this because you love this. Yeah. But you don't have the, the, the. the 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 income to support your to support yeah. yeah so that income we uh, is come from yourself as well because yeah. you love it same with but me yeah as soon as you you know yeah. but in anyhow in uh, year by year you say hey uh, what what's going on what, what I'm doing now I think yeah. I should think uh, um, you know <laughs> what can I do to <laughs> support do? myself yes yes yeah. you know so uh, and uh, at that time. I was in Shaolin film, uh, Shaolin uh, festival, Ushu festival, and I met the the um, the, uh, the director, Mr. Low Wei. After my, He's Jackie Chan's uh, 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 Bruce Lee manager, and then Jackie time. Chan's yes. director and manager too. Yes. Yeah. So I, I I after my performance, he came to the this Shaolin. Yeah, at that why? time. Oh, you know, uh, during that period, during the eighteenth, nineteenth, a lot of Hong Kong directors. And uh, movie stars, mostly director and producer, they came at uh, that time to choose the uh, the actors, uh, you know, to choose the new, you know, the, the, the new martial the arts new martial star. Art, yeah, you know, at that time because it was a festival who was combined the Chinese athletes, foreign actors at that time. So right. it was, yeah, it was oh, very very impressive, mm -hmm. you know. And is there that it was there? I met uh, Mr. Lowe. He came mm -hmm. just sit down behind me. He said, "Hey, uh, um, would you like to be in a movie?" I say, "Hey, what? Wh why not? Why? Uh, yeah. What is that?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was impressed. He invited me in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and then when I went to his office, his office, and I saw all the picture with Bruce Lee, uh, all stuff. And then uh, he passed away. Before he passed away, he introduced me to a lot of, uh, you know, Hong Kong producer and directors mm -hmm. at that time. And uh, yeah, it's, it was not my purpose to be uh, to get involved in movies, to movie uh, entertainment. No, it, it just came like that. Just you know. UN yeah, just, destiny. Yeah, destiny. Yeah. So I made the first movie and in 90, I think 1982, no, 1993 between. Mm -hmm. It was a friend of mine, he introduced to me and he said, hey, okay, uh, uh, you, uh, um, uh, you know how to, to do some wushu. Okay, come. He said, I, I, don't, I don't want to go. I don't, I don't want to go, you know. Yeah. But hey, I went there and then the director was Mr. Tong Wei. Okay. He's a great director. Uh, and it was there, and then the main actor was Lil Kid, uh, the two Lil Kids. Uh, I forget his name. It was the Dragons in Shaolin. So I get involved in, on, on the movie business, movie entertainment in China, and then I. But say, this hey, first movie, what did you do in the movie? I was bad guy fighting bad guy. <laughs> you were a villain. He a villain, yeah. yeah. And the 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 main actor was Yuan Biao. Ah. I didn't know at the time who he was, who, who was him, mm -hmm. but yeah. And, uh, He's Jackie Chan's little brother. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So since then, i still doing movies, but now I got involved in you know, uh, shooting movies, uh, producing, and I was thinking, I'm thinking it's, at the time it's also a good opportunity to promote Ushu at the time, mm -hmm. the same thing. And so you found that movies is an excellent way to promote Wushu. Yes, yes, it's an excellent way to promote Wushu movies yeah. until now, until now. So now we face on different techniques, 
uh, of of um, uh, 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 wushu in mush uh, in in movie actions mm. in action films, yeah. So it's uh, at that time I find it's good good opportunities to you know to promote wushu mm. you know in my countries, and I get involved. I'm still doing movie until now, so which is uh, uh, we can have which is I have some incomes as well because of I'm course. doing business as yeah. well you know. Yeah. To support, uh, you know, uh, what I'm doing. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. You you worked with Jackie Chan. I mean, you were just at Jackie Chan's uh, International yeah, Film, film uh, Festival. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we call uh, Jackie Chan Action Films Week. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I was there, and uh, it was a great pleasure uh, for me to be there, to get invited by him, and to, you know, to talk with him and uh, uh, to see uh, the possibility on what what he can do in. Uh, in Africa, mostly to uh, to let the youngest generation of African to learn an, uh, movie action films, you know, how it's going on. Because, they, you know, right now in Africa, we have, um, um, full, we, 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 they want to know what's going on in action films, mm. how to shoot the action films, how to, the, 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 uh, the impact, I mean, the, the, the creations between the two fighters and how to, the coordinations, yeah. how to be in movies. So that, this, uh, uh, still, uh, that in Africa we don't have, they have in own way, but in good directions to do that. So I, I, I speak with Jackie Chan about that. And uh, he was uh, really impressed as well, uh, happy, really mm. happy to see, yeah, and... Uh, to to uh, to have this kind of topic to talk with, and I do spoke with Chris Tucker. And yeah, he was he there. Was, he was there. Very good man. Yeah. We have a lot of talk, and uh, I've met also Yuen Bio and Yazuaki Kurata. It was yeah. a good group. Uh, for me, it was a great pleasure to to meet those actors who I saw when I was young. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that movie, yeah. You you yeah. worked on. Um, which Jackie Chan movie did I last see you? Were you in, ah the the Twelve Zodiac? Yeah, you were in yeah, Twelve yeah, Zodiac. Yeah, yeah. Twelve Zodiac. It was funny, funny. Yeah, yeah, it was a funny role. A funny role, yeah. Right. But for me, uh, to be in Jackie Chan movies to learn, yeah, uh, not as you know, not as actor, but to learn what's going on on uh, behind the camera and uh, behind the actions, you know, yes. learning this, learning is the craft, yes, learning the craft. Yes, yeah. yeah, this is what's uh, really important for me. And um, uh, uh, I do learn more with Frankie Chan. Yes, Frankie I Chan remember is, you uh, mentioned Yeah, him. Frankie Chan is my big brother who uh, he teach me what's going on on the movie, action films and whatever. I do learn more with him for, for, from him. Yeah. Did, did you act in, in his production? Yes, before? Frankie Chan, yes. I do uh, like Legendary of Amazon, like, uh -huh. uh, Kung, Fu, uh, like uh, you know, Kung Fu Kids. Yeah. A couple of movies I do uh, act in his production and, and, and learn as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you were also in that Bruce Lee TV series, I remember. Uh, yeah, Bruce Lee TV series. Uh, called The Legend of Bruce Lee. The Legend of Bruce Lee. Uh, I was a good experience for me. That was a long time ago, actually. Yeah, I remember that yeah. maybe maybe also almost 20 years 20 ago. 20 years ago, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was good experience for me. And uh, like a dream comes true. And uh, I went to see the, the directors. Mm. And uh, he said, ah, no... Uh, uh, Bruce Lee have a, a student at that time. Uh, his, uh, his name is Jesse Glover. Yeah. And uh, you have to play his role. And uh, I said, what? Me? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Bruce Lee? <laughs> yeah. We, uh, yes, it's 50 episodes, uh, you know, so... Yeah, it's 50 episodes. Yeah, yeah, so you have to, you know, uh, uh, first of all, learn uh, who is Bruce Lee or is Bruce Lee. Of course, I saw in the movies, but how... Like in 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 like human being, how was how was it? Yeah. Uh, how was with your friend? Like? Yeah. Uh, you know, and I do learn a lot, a lot, a lot, and I I uh, I do and find books, archive, you know, yeah. Uh, archives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was it was a good experience is to know who Bruce Lee was it and how and uh, which his friends was actually is. Yeah, he's a um, really, really good man, Bruce Lee. Mm. Uh, always, um, if you have the problem, he will. He has his problem as well. Yeah. But he will try to resolve his problem first. Okay. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. his problem first, and and, and you know, uh, 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 
and uh, he doesn't have that time at that money at the time and say okay do this do this do this and then yes no problem and and it was and this uh, great martial not artist but master yeah and uh, f- philosopher you know yeah yeah, uh, yeah and he always find a way how to uh, to you know uh, to find a solution on new problem right uh, so he wants to help people yeah and his friends especially yeah yeah but you know like human being we always have um, uh, uh, we are not perfect yeah, no one's perfect uh, no one is perfect so sometimes um, uh, he has his own problem and sometimes when we talk to him sometimes I don't listen but he has his own reason yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you know yeah. but uh, did you feel at that point or at any point that oh I made a full circle yeah, <laughs> I, I started as a young boy yeah, yeah. who loved Bruce Lee movies, yeah, yeah. and I ended up through this journey yeah. acting like Bruce Lee's student uh, yes, in the movies. Yes, yes, it's come my, it's like my dream come true. But still, um, I don't know why, but something is still missing, mm. and uh, it's like still a lot of you know objective, high objective is waiting for me to go to achieve. But that's good. But, I don't think you should yeah. ever say. Okay, that's it. I've Is got that, everything. Yeah, I'm yeah, done. Yeah. Because then we might as well just die. Yeah, you know? yeah. You want yeah. to stay hungry and you want to have some goal yeah, that you're moving to f- yes. for your whole life. Yes, still have some goal to go to achieve. Still things need to, new talent, new new challenges. It's mm-hmm. coming, it's coming, mm-hmm. and you have to go to you know to achieve that. And in anyhow, and um, um, if I see someone who uh, who. Uh, who has the same directions, but who's worked so hard for Ushu or who's worked for hard for something and he, he need my help, then I will help. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I can, <laughs> I can speak from experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, I, then I will help, yes. So, yeah. yeah, I think uh, that's great. And uh, you work still in the International Wushu Federation as a member of the, techni- uh, the traditional, traditional committee. committee. Yes, yes. And uh, what are your goals uh, or dreams for for the future there i mean uh for the future there you know for, um uh, face on the new challenges for the future of course first of all i have to think my you know to um uh, my future is uh, uh to to have a project on the in my country we have a hero uh, his name uh, wongo okay wongo he was the hero that who try was fight with the foreign country for slave okay yeah so this is my dream my my future dream i want to make a movie about mr wongo okay so that's that. <laughs> that's a great idea yeah wongo. i think we need more movies like this remember <laughs> yeah. i was talking to you a yeah. few weeks ago about yeah, yeah. the 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 African princess in Brazil, yes, and also yeah. she led the revolt with her against the slavery yes. there, yeah. and they yeah. set up these maroon colonies, and yes. you don't hear nothing about I, I, this. I didn't hear anything but about But this that. is an amazing yeah. story, Aquiltoon. So yes. people should really look yes. into it. But, but after you tell me about that, I go to research. Yeah. I was impressed and surprised. Wow. You know, still have a lot of kind of stories to mm. to let the people know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, yeah. this human story is everybody's yes. story. Yes. And we yes. should we should highlight all of the human stories yes. everywhere. And yes. this kind of story is important. But yes. I'm surprised nobody thought about making some. Because really, if you read this this history yeah. and the story yeah. about Aquatune. And her sons, what they did. Yeah. It's like yeah. a movie. Yes, yeah. It yeah. really is like a movie. Yes, but actually, you know, recently people, uh, like in Hollywood, even mostly in Hollywood and, and in some country in Africa, and in also some countries, uh, Latin America, you yeah. know, and they, they are focused right now on stories, movies. It's like the heroes, what's done. Mm, uh, mm. Mostly, I mean, mostly in, in, in Africa as well. Right. We focus on the new, the new uh, topic of the movies on how we have to be done and to let the, the, the people to remember. Yeah. Like we expect a movie, a new movie called Harriet. Harriet, I heard the story. Oh, yeah, about Harriet Tubman. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I heard that the story... And uh, yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's impressive. And I want to see the movies. Well, now do. is the time, you yeah. know. The world yeah. was different 20, 30 years ago. Yes, yes. Some things, even if it's a great story, just because the society was not open for certain uh, certain ideas, yes, they yes. will stop it. But yeah, now, now is the yeah. time that yes. they can do 
you know yeah. almost all of this yes. really yeah. so yeah so we're we'll expecting on that yeah, yeah. Mm. anyway so you are still working in movies yeah i'm still working on movies and as a um, um, actor and mm. also a producer mm. and uh, also if people uh, who has um, productions and movie is looking for finance then I will try to help. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is what I'm doing right now. If if yeah. I can, mm-hmm. I want to ask you some. Uh, if you have any funny or interesting stories from your time in training in China or in the sport university, anything mm. that you still think back and you remember today, either something funny or something that had a big impact on you. A big impact on me is like you know, uh, uh, I was uh, how to say uh, split. During the splits? In the yeah. split. Yeah. And uh, the teacher was there and I have to stay there for at least one hour. Oh my God. Oh, and I was asking myself, why I'm doing this? For what? <laughs> I'm suffering in here. And it's this pain. Why I'm doing this? I was right. thinking myself. I was sweating and it was uh, on, on summer. I know. The, uh, hot. the summer here is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, why, why I'm doing this? And I ask my teacher, I have to stand up because I'm suffering right now. Yeah. He say, no, you have to think now, he, 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 you know, he was so far. And then, mm. and then, and then, and then suddenly I was trying to talk to him. He say, I know now you want to talk to me because you are suffering. You think on your mind, you are suffering and you want to stand up. Yeah. But let me tell you something. Now you're suffering. You have to know how far how how far you want to go and how do you know yourself wow <laughs> it's important life lesson yeah, right? yeah yeah how do you know yourself huh do you know yourself <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> so stay there and think so soon you will know your answer then you can stand up okay Shit. who was this my my teacher Lim oh Boyer. okay okay uh, yeah, and then I say, oh, yes. And I stayed there until one hour. And then when I wake up and then I went to talk to him and I say, oh, yes, because I'm, I'm suffering. I was suffering right now. But if you compare on, I don't know, I was just imagining, I was mm. just imagining. If you compare on the, the quotidian life of this. You compare it to the splits. Yeah, uh, yeah, of this. On the quotidian life, on 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 the uh, the quotidian life, on some problem you face on in usually life, mm-hmm. with this is nothing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's nothing. It's nothing at all. It's not, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not a problem. Yeah, it's nothing. Yeah. So when uh, uh, I face on a lot of problem during my life, I mean in 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 a uh, 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 quotidian life, you know, yeah. and uh, when I think about this, this is nothing. Why? Because. Uh, this can you can resolve such a problem in anyhow in pacific way in peaceful way pacifistic way uh, yeah. Yeah. yes this is the- <laughs> so you uh, you focus on the bigger picture yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and and so. the the development of wushu in africa would you say it's uh, improving uh, yeah yeah just on a whole or on a whole is improving but is only in such a countries not all the continents, mm-hmm. because in all the continents we still have uh, some uh, um, country who not uh, countries who not recognize it. Some uh, organizations, yeah. and uh, because of the re- regularization of the uh, 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 international federations, they have to be recognized on the Olympic Committee or National Olympic Committee, as they say. But, but you know, we still face on and some countries was colonized by French by mm-hmm. British. So if the discipline is not Olympic, then it's impossible to be recognized. Yeah, some Olympic some, committees are yes, like that. Yeah, yeah, you know. But uh, we can say in North Africa, which is more developed in North Africa. Because Mostly in the Arabic-speaking countries. Arabic-speaking country. countries, yes. And also some in a French-speaking country, but only because on the influence on non-stop of the, uh, of the, uh, the, 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 the promotion. For example, in Gabon, mm-hmm. I mean, Central West Africa, eh, have been pushing, pushing, pushing. Then they have established in federation, right? And uh, Gabon is kind of a, a, a center 
of uh, Central uh, cent uh, Central West Africa. Yes. So everything that happened in Gabon, the other countries know. So it's, it's, it's such an influence. It influences the other countries yes, around Yes, the other country around it. Uh, to make their own uh, associations okay. and federation. But still, still some uh, uh, difficulties. But at least uh, if you compare that with before, it's better. Okay. It's better. And you have also uh, the uh, uh, West Africa, which is going well as well. It's, mm. it's improving. The level is improving. Uh, the, the things is improving. But still, long way to go. Still, okay. so long way okay. to go. Yeah. And your, what do you think in the future for Luke Benza's direction will be promotion of Wushu through movies, still working uh, to promote Wushu as you were in the other aspects? I, I think both because um, Wushu uh, is bringing, you know, uh, if uh, is bringing countries to countries, um, uh, if, uh, 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 first of all, peace. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're doing good uh, promotion on Wushu, first of all, you have to, to you know, teach them the peace, mm -hmm. hum, uh, uh, humble. How to be humble. How right? to be humble. And this can be, uh, brings business and cultural exchange, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, this is the way I, 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 I have to, I mean, the way I, I work on. And mm. also uh, bring business to business, business, because Wushu is also business. We call Culture business as well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> culture business. You can do wushu if you don't have income. How how to you know how to handle with it, which right. is which is uh, difficult. And the other aspect is movie as well. Uh, the movie also can bring you know uh, countries to countries, exchange cultural and business as well. Yeah, and uh, you know uh, exchange you know, and also you can have uh, also a traditional business. It's mm. like. You know, you, you, you came in China, buy something and to sell to the others. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. right. Also, so exchange yeah. in that way. Yeah. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, I just remembered something because I went to a, I went to a high school. My mm. high school that I mm. went to was originally opened by the Taiwanese government in South Africa. Mm. It was a Chinese school. Yeah. So my high school was a Chinese school. That's where I went to. And there was a girl in my class. Do you remember the movie by uh, Jackie Chan, Who Am I? Yeah, yeah. They if, shoot in South Africa. If they shoot in South Africa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was in high school when they were shooting. <laughs> and Jackie Chan, every night, this mm. girl in my class, mm. her family owned a, quite a, a well-known Chinese restaurant. Uh. Jackie Chan every night was eating in this restaurant wow. every night. Oh. And she was telling me about these stories about Jackie Chan training every mm. morning. Yeah. Running, stretching yeah. every morning yeah. in that area that yeah. he was staying close to his hotel. <laughs> and all the kids around there would come and run with him. Yeah. Yes. And he's yeah. such a friendly guy, but this yes. is another way because everybody knew him. All the little kids they yes. knew him. Yes. They never they don't know what Wushu is. Uh, yeah, yeah. They have no idea. Yeah, Wushu, but they, they know, know Jackie they Chan, know Jackie they know Chan, Kung yeah. Fu. Yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah, it's yeah. inspiring for them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jackie say uh he was in Morocco shooting another movie in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Uh -huh. And suddenly it was a girl was saying, Oh Jackie Chan and that a lot of people come uh, to, to, to look at him, to take picture with him. So he was surprised. It's in, in the a middle of nowhere. You yeah, know, in desert. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they know so him. Why? Why? Well, this is it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't think there's many yeah. Kung Fu movie action stars mm, like him yeah. that have achieved... Yeah. As much as him. If yeah. we can say that uh, maybe Bruce Lee is like the spiritual hero of yeah, Kung yeah. Fu around the yeah, world, yeah. then Jackie Chan is the physical hero, hero of, of Kung yes. Fu around the yeah, world, really. Yeah. And uh, yes. yeah, many yeah. aspects, just from the stories that he, 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 he presented through his yes. movies to the physical, yes. Uh, yes. the physical story message he presented yes, yes. through his movies yeah, yeah, yeah. we learn we learn a lot we learn a lot for his movies it's not mm. only action but this behind the actions you have a, a lot of messages to you know to, to learn on. and uh, you can actually see i mean i even remember uh, when i was young and i was doing as a teenager i was doing chinese martial arts uh, and uh, how the african communities yeah. understood chinese martial arts not because they understood it but yeah. because they they watched jackie chan yes, movies, movies yeah. and they yeah. think that the things that he was doing in his movies yeah. is what they are supposed to do yeah, yeah, like yeah. with a water bottle yeah, and yeah, yeah, take yeah. this cup yeah. and do sit up and 
they were doing these yes, things and yeah, I was yeah. watching these guys yeah, and I have yeah. the incense and they're yes. trying to do mabu yes, and, yeah, yeah. and I, you know it's just yeah. amazing to watch the yeah. message but it motivated them yeah. you know it, yeah. even if it's not exactly the, 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 the authentic yeah. truth yeah. but you know it motivated yeah. them for something yeah. and it's, 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 it's great it's, good. It's, yeah. it's really great yeah, so. Yeah. so it's kind of a huge ambassador and every, 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 everybody want to see him everybody know him and uh yeah, so it's why also, you know, he created the, uh, the action, uh, Jackie Chan Action Films Week is to, uh, first of all, to, you know, uh, to give the opportunity mm. uh, to the stand, uh, the, 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 the stand guy and mm. the, the, the stuntman, the stuntman as well. And the, 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 uh, the, the people who doesn't have the chance uh, to, you know, uh, to, to, to be there, you know, yeah. it's like, okay, uh, when you go to other movie festival, it's always the same people who, who I uh, you know, who get the Oscar, who get the right. prizes, all the you know. But be, uh, uh, the background was made by a lot of you know uh, stuntmen, uh, stuntmen, uh, you know, directors, uh, you know. And so the stuntmen it, sacrifice their yeah, bodies. Yeah, this is it. So it's why he created this action Jackie Chan International Films Action Week. Is he still yeah. making movies? Still, 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 yeah, still uh, doing movies. Well, yeah. And how does he, I mean, when you last saw him, is he still in uh, physical uh, oh, he's condition? Very, very busy, man, very busy, very, very busy, and still, uh, you know, uh, take care of many things. It's not easy for him, you know, not yeah. easy for him to handle, to be uh, uh, in some positions, to be the eye, it's not easy, you know. Uh, it's a huge, big responsibility. You Do you know, think uh, he can still make action movies? Yeah, still. Himself? Do. Yeah, still, man. Because, you see, like, uh, uh, like you, for example, you practice. Uh, it's, it's inside of your blood. Yeah. <laughs> you say, okay, you do it, immediately you will, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess after a lifetime, it's yeah, there, you yeah, know. It's still there. Man. It's, it's still, still there. there. Yeah, it's still there. And you yourself, with your uh, with Pigua and this, you still make time to. I'm practice? still practicing, uh, not like before, but I'm still practicing. I have to maintain my my myself, you know, yeah. more more fully on elf elf way. Okay. You know, I have to maintain myself, and because still I have to make more movies, action movies, and uh, yeah, I have to maintain myself. Like, this is the difficulties, you know. Mm. Uh, to be atlas because when you are atlas, you, you you have the objective is to be atlas, not only to improve yourself, but to know where is your level. Yeah, in comparison yeah. to others. Yes, yeah. you know. But when you don't do any more competitions and you 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 change directions, then you have to practice for your health to maintain yourself. And also because you yeah. you love it. Yeah, I mean the I same it. like yeah. your teacher. He yes. wasn't competing, but yes. he was practicing because yeah, it has it. value to yeah, him. It yeah, has benefit yeah. to him. Yeah. It has meaning yeah. to him. This is really important, but which is also difficult to maintain. So to yeah. wake up. Uh, you have day. to make time for it every yes, day. Yes, yes, yes. I was reading a book where they were saying. Uh, it's a it's an old writing, very mm. old, maybe seven hundred years about mm. a martial arts style in yeah. Japan. Yeah. And the founder he wrote mm. this and he wrote if you want to practice this style, mm. you need to be able to sacrifice. And the sacrifice must be that this is your best friend training. Is yeah. your best friend. friend. Yes. When you wake up in the morning yes. and it's the person that you go to yes. sleep yes. with at night. Yes. Is mean it needs to be in your life mm. from when you open oh, your almost, eyes until, until you close you, yes. and practice is something mm. every day and, every day, and this yes. is the yeah. the true way yeah, this, this is, is the true, true yeah. way yeah so uh, yeah. you know i'm glad that uh you know for for mm. i found my way and i'm yeah. sure you did yeah, 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 yeah. is your is your teacher your master is he still still alive yes he lives in japan oh he's in japan he's now. in japan wow. now he's still there he's living there and uh yeah he stayed there for many years now he comes sometimes and uh uh, I didn't see him for many years now. Hmm. Still in Japan. How yeah. did he end up there? This is a big topic. Really? Yeah, because uh, you know, at that time. I thought you were gonna say he likes sushi, so he went to Japan. But no, yeah, it's a big topic. It's big topic because um, most of the students he has before they're from Japan. In the university. In the university. Okay. Because you have a lot of in if a lot of Japan Japanese uh, there was uh, during the 18 there was flying from Japan mostly only to learn from with him 
practice really? with him. Yes. Wow. Yes, a lot of them. How do they know about him? Books, because he write book. Oh, okay. He write book. The uh, the history about Ushu, how mm -hmm. he is, uh, what's what's really happened in Ushu, and 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 he wrote a book on how Ushu will be now. If this is the problem we face now. He already wrote about. <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he knows what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, he knows. So, yeah, yeah. So uh, I was impressed and surprised. I was thinking I was no, no. Uh, as foreigner, only me. But they had, I mean, uh, they also the Japanese. They they came, you know. So he's the there most, now. He's there now. Mostly of all the students, they all Japanese. So they called Japanese. him to please come there. Yes, to stay in there. And he was teaching there. Yeah, he's teaching there. Now he's teaching on the he's teaching the story, yeah, history. Yeah? History. Of Ushu, history. Okay. It's history of Ushu in the most uh, big uh, Japan university. Oh. They have sports department. It's the chief of the, that department. Wow. History. History department. And Japan has a very strong uh, development of Wushu. Yeah, yes. And yes. there is yeah. something very interesting in Japan is yeah, that they yeah. are very passionate about Taiji. Yes. A lot of traditional Taiji. Yes. Not sp they are very yeah, focused yeah, yeah, on yeah, traditional yeah. Taiji. Yes. They are like deeply deeply practice focused it. yeah practicing yeah because uh you know um uh during the 80s the 90s most of be, beside my master they was coming to learn with the, my master wife because she's also an expert in tai chi oh okay yeah and she's quite famous she was uh famous in china and most of the student, the student they was come to practice with her okay and they also Call her to you know to who, move. Who was she? Uh, I I forgot her name in his many years. I yeah. can be touch with uh, you know, but she left before. Mm. She she was the one who left before the husband. She went first. She went first. Ah okay yeah yeah yeah. I okay. forgot his name, but quite quite popular. Yeah, Tai Chi is. I mean, even their federation yeah. there is called the Japan All yeah, Japan yeah, yeah. Wushu Tai Chi Chuan Federation. Tai Chi, yeah yes. Or is it Tai Chi Chuan Wushu Federation? Yeah. But tai Chi is. Uh, tai Chi is the the, the, the main, main thing. thing yeah. The main thing. Yes yes. And and really, it's traditional that yeah. they they follow. Yes. It's very very interesting. Uh, it's very well developed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So very developed uh, Wushu Tai Chi in there, almost. The most famous Tai Chi teachers, they're all in Japan. A lot of them, yes. A lot of them. Yeah. All yeah. the morphing. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Even yeah. now we can see. And uh, yeah. yeah, do you do? You, I mean, the the headquarters for the Asian Wushu Federation used to be in Japan too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So. All of them. All of them. The, and Mr. Ishihara, you remember? Ishi yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a Wu style practitioner. Yes. Yeah. Rest yeah, in peace. Yeah, he liked Wu style. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah, he was a very, very yeah strong supporter of wushu but mm. more importantly so, the right direction yes, of wushu yeah, and he yeah. wasn't scared to stand up yeah and uh yeah, well, yeah. we miss him very much yes. but uh yeah. yeah yeah that is life huh yeah this is life yeah, yeah. So, brother, do you have anything else you want to share with the people outside? Uh, just uh, you know be yourself follow your way and uh, don't care what that people say Oh, good. I think that's good advice. <laughs> yeah. Be true to yourself. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I'm I'm still honored that I've known you for so long and honored to be your friend. Yeah. You're my and, brother. Uh, yeah, well, you are my brother too. And uh, I'm also very grateful yeah. for all the support you've yeah. given me over the yeah. years. Thank so, you so much. And for very me. grateful to what you did for yeah. Wushu and are still doing in Africa. So. I tried the best I can, brother. Yeah. Anyway, okay. thanks for coming today. Thank you. Thank you.